Peggy 3. people get more and more accustomed to Formula One. They want to notch it up. Every year we're learning something new. Every year we're pushing to improve that experience. 2012 is really responding to what the community has been talking about. Some of the feedback we had suggested that people only picked up F1 and put it in their machines when they had a solid couple of hours to play. So we, we wanted to come up with some, some new game modes, some new challenges that people can put on when they haven't got quite so much time to spend. One of the new modes for 2012 is called Champions Mode, with six world champions on the grid this year. We thought it'd be interesting if we made a scenario mode about trying to beat each of those champions across progressively difficult challenges. So it's really based around three, four, five laps of just intense driving. The race is in progress. Can you overtake and defeat this champion driver? This is about trying to replicate that career experience that you had over a number of seasons in our previous games into a kind of condensed format. It's a 10 race season and it's a little bit more sort of arcade based, so you sort of challenge rival drivers and if you defeat them a couple of times and you steal their seat and you progress up through the grid. We spent a lot of time working on new modes but we also wanted to inject some new ideas into the, the normal career mode. We've made more of the press clippings and more of the world around Formula One, so you're going to start to see more involvement from team bosses and uh, engineers and uh, key people within the teams themselves. And I think when people have got a nice bit of time and they want a single player experience, you still can't beat that career mode. Multiplayer is a huge part of racing games, of the racing experience, that sort of will to compete against other drivers. So we've got lots of different game modes to cater for how much time you've got to race online. I think with Formula One, people like the thought of qualifying and getting the, the, the grid and that sort of pressure of that environment. So we've introduced one shot qualifying rather than one 10 minute session or three knockout phases. It's, you know, what can you do in one lap? That one lap's gonna determine your grid position. So that adds a lot of pressure. 2012 really is something completely unique. This is about playing Formula One your own way.